uh, it's time for us to get into a uh, very interesting uh, banter over um, a subject that, you know, as a nation, I think that we need to um, have a proper conversation about us in how we choose our leaders. Who do, what kind of people do we want, you know, for, uh, uh, as, as people that will lead the nation? And, and does uh, personal challenges, do personal challenges reflect mm. an ability to lead? You know, and mm. all of those things. I mean, mm. what do you think? Yeah. I think, Do okay. personal challenges also, also influence, influence or do they show up in our maybe ability to lead or otherwise? I think this, this is where our cultural context really comes in. Because yeah. in other jurisdictions, like you remember in the U.S., yeah. the year, so this was what, 2000 and... Eight? When did Obama became president in 2008? Yes, yeah. Now, um, John Edwards, mm. who was also, at least on the primary level for the Democratic Party, he was trying to become president. Yes. He didn't win, obviously, the nomination. Barack Obama won it. Mm. But there was so much talk of him being a good candidate for vice president yeah. to run with Obama. Then this story broke about how he actually had um, an extramarital affair, and he yeah. had a child with the woman, you know, he was having the affair with, blah, blah, blah. And I think at the time, his wife actually had cancer, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. It was a whole scandal. Yeah. And that literally finished him as a politician. Yeah. It literally, like, he went from being this Amer darling of America, the darling boy of yeah, American darling boy politics, yeah, politics yeah, Democrat, yeah, yeah, yeah. to being totally ostracized yeah. and vilified because of that. Yeah. You know, because the, of an affair. Yes. Like, no, he could have been one of the best. I think he was from South Carolina or something. I can't mm. remember, but he could have been the best, you know, senator for his state. Yeah. But that was enough for them to say, nope, he can't yeah. represent us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Then, of course, we know what happened with Bill Clinton. Mm -hmm. Like the Republicans yeah. tried to impeach him yeah. after what happened with Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> um, but, you know, he, and he had an excellent track record as president yeah. pretty much up until that point. Then his character became the focal point, yeah. you know, because of this whole thing. And, and it's not the, we've seen so many incidents like this with politicians in other mm. jurisdictions where they see that or those kinds of things as a character flaw that yeah. cannot be anywhere near their politics mm. and they don't want those kinds of questions. It's almost like they see it as a morality issue yeah. and I, you're I supposed to represent of, something I think, more. So I don't know what it's like in Europe and I think we can, maybe we can explore that a bit, but in the yeah. U.S., um, and maybe also the U.S. politics tends to be more in global news than yeah. European, you know, politics. Yeah. But, um, in terms of electioneering and all of that. Right. Um, but I feel as though the scrutiny on individuals' morality yeah. is really, really heightened so high. in American politics. You know? Yeah, almost hypocritical. But it's but it's yeah yeah it's, it is what it is yeah. They would pick on that in an instant, yeah. you know. Look, at, even with Donald Trump, they tried. Yes. Somehow, though, he was able to... to no, but I think it, it was uh, it's actually the, his posturing. Maybe, of yeah. more like, I don't care what you say. Yeah. I'm still going to Kind of like our friend who if, we're going to be... <laughs> yeah, I know, delving right? into. I mean, it was like, yeah, there was so much... And so what if I did? You know, about him, yeah. you know, with other women and yeah. women saying he had... Do you, you remember know, the taken Russian women thing? Oh, gosh. Like, <laughs> the hotel room thing with Russia. And it was women. literally like <laughs> Teflon. Like, he just brushed it off like, you yeah. can't touch me with that. Yeah. You know, he, it just didn't yeah. seem to affect him like it affected other and politicians. Like he never went about denying many of the things. No, he didn't. He would just didn't. not make a comment or, you know, just yeah, make yeah. a... You know, yeah. yeah. He would just brush like it off or make lights of it. Yeah. Or, and I guess it also didn't help that despite those allegations, he had legions of fans, people still supporting yeah. him, including women, yeah. you know. Um, so yeah, it's 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 interesting, yeah. but in the on the home front, it just doesn't seem to be yeah. an issue that affects anyone's political chances. Because again, if you look, we have had people in government in Ghana who are actually sitting politicians. These are yeah. currently in office yeah. with ministerial portfolio, <laughs> who have had scandals or what would have been absolutely scandalous yeah but it didn't seem to affect them in any no. way in terms of our reaction to them right 24 hours maximum 48 hours later 
everybody's moved on. Mm -hmm. It was just it's like business as usual. Business as usual. Okay. Well, we'll take a look at a couple of videos. Now, again, we've been discussing this um, just based on some, some stories that have popped mm. up and some videos that have been trending on social media for um, Sofo Chirabusum, as he's popularly known. And uh, he, again, on 2020 elections, he was on the ballot as the presidential candidate for the Ghana Union Movement. He's a pastor, quite popular with his congregation and his followers. And recently, um, his wife has made some allegations about him marrying other women, impregnating other women, having children with other women, and she has left their marriage. He's also saying, hey, yep, my wife has left me. This is not a big deal. She can go wherever she wants to go. I've got a beautiful woman and a child with her. Mm. I mean, it's going all over, right? So let's take a look at this video. And again, we'll open the phone line so you can let us know your thoughts on this topic. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Mr. Binim no dada. Said why be pain, why be a tremolo. It's a very careful. Okay. Go on, sir, for her mutti or canoe. More record on court. Where the end at the TV will be a dear singing air. She appear or call a sort of her, no number, no number, no number. It's all because I said, Shabosum, and it will be a call or barbie. Okay. Yes. Yes, to me, Casa. No, no, to me, a dear mamino, and then let me read the and then a bush and four cladia, Menquan and Yamifre, yes, sir, and I may am a Juma, that's all. Casa, amen, amen, overcome a home, and also a qua, ten tin time. Go, am I baby room? Hype man for me, yeah. honestly, yeah. it's the hype man in yeah. the background, yeah. <laughs> he's stealing the show, yeah. him <laughs> And the keyboard is whoever's yeah. doing the, <laughs> the sound effects. That is what's making this for me. Okay. So as you can see, mm. I mean, my tree isn't the best, but yeah. I could pretty much understand and get the gist of what he's saying. And he's claiming that his wife or strange wife is just going, it's like she's just going from court to court, yeah. from place to place, yeah. accusing him of this, of, accusing yeah. him of that. Oh, he, she wants the maids gone. Yeah. Oh, he's done this. He's done that. Yeah. And he's basically saying, yeah, if anyone wants to know, yep. And all the gossips, people talking, talking, talking. I'm telling you, yes, the marriage is broken. Like, yeah. it's split. We've, we're done, Charlie. And there are beautiful women everywhere. So, yeah. yes, that's the first video. Yeah, I think we should take a look at the second video. Okay. Where he's responding to his accusers. Mm -hmm. People who are gossiping, talking mm -hmm. about him and the issue. Let's take a look.
you pay you Bianca. Hmm. You go check him. Now me strike a brace him. Me monitor go for be brace. I me monitor mu ina mu severe. Me dia ko ready him. Now fe ya fide ya me be chuma ye ubriti him. Ne se a tisi usua. Ya do be brame. Kogui. Yeah. This one is for you. He says he's money to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> At the right time, they'll carry you to him. <laughs> Wait, what about those who don't want to be carried? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Yeah, he he's he's basically like you can say what you want to say. You can say, say what you want to say. I'll do what I'm I want to do. I'm gonna live my life. Yeah. And but you and you know the interesting thing about that. People kind of admire that kind of defiance. That's, I, that's that kind of defiance me, for that's people. That's why Trump won. Yeah, because it's like, ah, is this what, is like this what you're going to use to judge me? I not care what like, you think. I will do what I will do. I will me. do. And I, do yeah. you need me? Do you want me to run the country or not? Mm -hmm. That's what you should be focusing on. Yeah. Don't focus on my personal relationships with people. Yeah. Like, that shouldn't be your concern. Yeah. Can I run the country? Yeah. Can I be a? Ca that's it. Yeah. Don't come talking about my personal life. Yeah. That's essentially yeah. Yeah. the yeah. posture here. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. does he have a point? Uh, well, does he have a point? What do you think? Yeah. Give us a call. All right. Let's hear from you. Mm -hmm. um, it will be interesting to hear what people have to say. Yeah. You know, all across the country, wherever you're watching us from, especially those who. Uh, voted for him in the last election. Mm. Um, we want to hear from you. We, it will be good to hear your thoughts, why you voted for him. And if you didn't vote for him, why didn't you think he was a viable option as well? Okay. And what do we expect of our leaders, right? So okay. it's 0556 203276. We have Shireen from Taifa. Hello, good morning. Yes, yes well. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Breakfast Daily. You know, someone said it's more than $3 part, so we have to be very careful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. Absolutely. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, I think uh, the man has his own problem. So, this is not a matter of we have to discuss a lot about him, but he know what he's going through in the house, you know? Mm, mm. Sometimes the women too are like that. Hey. Uh, a lot of them are so, you know... And there is a quite different type of jealousy, a different type of jealousy, but he's talking about his own problem. So, 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 so let me so ask I think you. we should give him the chance, you know, we should give him the chance to make his choice. Okay. Oh. So yeah, let, we should so, give him... So let me ask you, yeah. um, apparently, he can't have children naturally. This is the accusation of his wife. His wife, yes. Right? And uh -huh. that he only has, he can only have kids by IVF. Now, uh -huh. if you know anything about IVF, it's quite expensive, yeah. right? And she uh -huh. claims that he's had two kids by IVF with their maids. Okay. Right? What, uh -huh. do you make, what do you make of that? It's like a lot of trouble he has gone to to try and give them children. And these are his mates. Uh -huh. And you think the, the wife does, the wife sh is jealous, and uh -huh. so she shouldn't. I, I mean, how do you feel? How do you feel about it? Okay, he has his own right to go for whatever or whatever he wants to live life with. Okay. So either they are maid, either they are house help, mm. either they are galamte ladies. <laughs> his own brother has to choose his choice. Okay. So I think also for Shabusum has to go and then make his own choice. Okay. All right. Okay. He's facing a lot of problems in the house with that woman. So, okay. I think I, I just I just need to ask you this, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if 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 this were a woman, uh -huh. a, a female political candidate or female pastor who came out and said, "Oh, she's also left her husband. I mean, she's got this guy. She's got some guys who." Treats her better, and she gets a lot. She loves them, and she's she's happy to be with them. And she's got two of them, and they were they were once house help, but now they are her. She's she's even trying to have a child with one of them. Would you feel the same? Yeah, the woman also should go ahead and make it her choice. Okay. Because you see, in this world, okay, we yeah. are not slave in marriage couples, right? If you are in under some marriage, uh -huh. and the marriage is not going well for you, you have every right to you know back up. Okay. I, I, I think say, I like oh, this call-up. 
He's very objective. <laughs> you, can't just say, you can't just say, this is my husband, so I have to die in this marriage. Mm -hmm. Or you can't just say, this is my wife, so I have to die in this marriage. No. Okay. Your life is important. Life is so, important, Mom. Yeah, so if you are under some marriage and you are going through pressure and you feel like doing something to release pressure for you to have a long life, you have to go ahead and do it. Wow. Because if you go straight to the Islam religion, God has let us know that a man, you can go out for a one, two, three, or four. But you have to make <laughs> them feel comfortable. Okay. You don't have to treat them bad. Okay. So if you have a one wife and you find another woman, she's suffering, you can go for her and then make her a wife. <laughs> and then <laughs> let <laughs> also feel good. All right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much for the call. <laughs> I really, really appreciate you before your program. But we shouldn't forget our software travel so is monitoring us. Yeah, so we have to be very careful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you for the thank call. You. Thank yeah, you. For the call. So, maybe, I mean, he, he's basically saying that everybody's responsible for their for choices their in this life. That is it. Yeah. For your choices and for your happiness. Yeah, for your happiness. If you're you unhappy, know, you move on and find do. your happiness. Go do what you got to do. I kind of like this guy. Yeah, you know, his philosophy <laughs> on life is like, Charlie, happy yourself. Happy yourself, yeah. Whatever Charlie, anyone says. Whatever yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. After well, all, it's your life. It is. Mm. It is. Yeah. Okay. So, so do do let us hear from you. Okay. Yeah. We have uh, Samuel <laughs> from Ashaiman. Samuel, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, yes. my Good morning. <laughs> what do you make of this conversation we are having? Seriously, I don't understand why people. It's like it, it seems our society is getting things wrong for us. Okay. It shouldn't even be an issue for us to be discussing. It is this personal life. Mm. That has nothing to do with his calling or his political ambition or whatever. Really? Mm. This is his private wife, a, a private house, and I, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Mm. Yes. Seriously, I, I know one big man. I, I don't know if you know the owner of DDP, Mr. Togbo Mensah. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah. But, yeah, the but of blessed memory. The, the late, I, I the know late, him personally. I was at his office one day and... One, his business partner was there. And they were discussing about business. All of a sudden, the man was asking about his wife and his children. And that is the end of the business. Okay. Hmm. The, Mr. Mensah was trying to tell the man that what they are discussing has nothing to do with his family. With his family. Hmm. You understand me? Yeah. So, it, it, we, I'm sure you, all of you there have problems in your house. So, so <laughs> you're basically saying, let's separate the issues. Right. Let's keep personal yes. life personal. Right. Yes. Okay. okay. So From you don't his think political ambition or uh, being a pastor? Oh, even even. What do you think of the of the political um, um, dispensation that is uh, that that ha you know the things that happen in the states, for example, where if political and even in the UK, if uh, you are a politician, not necessarily a presidential aspirant or a candidate, but you're a politician and something comes up that is to do with your personal life, a morality issue, suddenly the whole press, the country, the, your constituents, they all come against you. Um, you know, and a lot, for a lot of people, it derails their political ambitions. It happens elsewhere. It just seems that for us in our jurisdiction, it doesn't seem to be that important. Mm -hmm. Hello, Samo. Yes, please, I can hear you. Uh -huh. Okay. What, what do you think of what happens in other jurisdictions versus what is happening here? Seriously, uh, well, the first caller was saying something, and my sister was asking him a question that what, what of if he tends to be the lady? Yes. 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 Now, what I'm saying is that this is private issue. Mm -hmm. I'm sure all of you sitting down there might have one issue or the other with your marriage. Yeah. Uh, but because the sister sitting with you doesn't know anything about it. You are okay. You are laughing with, uh, with her. <laughs> if assuming she should know something about your marriage now, you will be comfortable sitting down with her because you might be thinking maybe the issue will be somewhere. Second, what I'm trying to say is that the UK example you are making, our society is different from the way we look at things. Mm. Okay. Our okay. society is far, far, far different because look, I don't think if your brother is 
so you advise advise him to stay in the marriage or to let the woman be because mm. there might be a problem Chirabuso mm. might also have a, something to tell you about the wife yeah mm -hmm. yeah and i don't think if Chirabuso is my 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 father i'll maybe let i don't know i don't know but so so you, know, you are saying that for leaders whether it's political religious even corporate we should not for lack of a better word, judge them on things going on in their personal no, lives. No, we shouldn't no, have no. a we shouldn't have a morality expectation for our leaders. I, I not that not that it should be morality. Look, look, you were making an example with Trump, Donald Trump of USA, right? Yes. Yeah. He goes straight to the point. But as you are saying, people like him like that. Yeah. And I don't think we should always be going for people who are hypocrites, people who come out to tell us. Eh, 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 a nice picture, but right. in reality, it's not so. Mm. Mm. So you prefer someone who is honest about their shortcomings yes. and their flaws and just move along. Does it affect he my is, work? He's no. trying to tell you that we what move. you heard is true. So move on. Let me move. also move okay. on. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, Samuel. We appreciate your call. <laughs> Thanks, Thank you. Samuel. So you mm. see, he makes a very interesting point mm -hmm. about the fact that <clears throat> we are all flawed. Yeah. Right? And so there are people who appear not to, to, to be, be perfect. flawed mm -hmm. and but it's like we like them because <laughs> we are we don't know their flaws yeah do you get it yeah and if we find they are if we find out that they have this issue mm -hmm. suddenly you know the cancel culture that's happening in the in the i'm in, telling uh -huh. you so so he so, so right. makes a very interesting point he does you know, if a person can deliver on what we need them to deliver mm -hmm. on and they have a proven track record why not why not why are we bringing their personal life issues yeah. into the mix. Okay. Very interesting point. Um, we've got Ben on the line. Hi, Ben. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'd like to contribute to the program. Yes, yeah. go ahead. Thank you. Go ahead. Uh, with this issue, a lot of pastors and the men of God are going through a lot, <laughs> but they don't bring it out. If you get closer to them, and they talk to you, you see how they are suffering from their marriages. And the women too. So, so for Abu Shabusum issue, I think he's been honest to his members. Mm. Mm -hmm. So it's better we treat it as an individual. Don't let us forget that they are human beings. Right. They have feelings as a, human, a normal human being. Mm -hmm. And before they were called, they were human beings. Mm -hmm. So as they are human beings, their human factor at a point will come out. So this is a challenge to most of the uh, so-called men of God. I can't remember a pastor of mine told me that, look, there are a lot of pastors suffering in their marriages, but they can't come out. Mm. They are in and they are dying slowly. Mm. So they have a lot of challenges. Now yeah. the question is, if we run to them with our marriages, our challenges, mm. what, where do they send the yes to? Yeah. Mm. Good point. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Um, a, 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 a leader, let's say a pastor, is supposed to be a person um, of trust right they stand behind the pulpit the pulpit is a place of trust where we are looking up to you that you should lead us and that we have failings if somebody is if you fall in the gutter do you look to the person who has also fallen in the gutter to help you out or do you look to somebody who is has been able to dodge the gutter and not fall to hold your hand and pull you out. Do you get what I'm saying? In my mind, I'm asking myself the question, uh, if our leaders are, bec even though they are human, don't we have expectation of them that at least they've been able to manage their problem better than we have? And that's why we are saying, leave us. Because it seems that you've, you've, you know something more than I do. You, you've been able to uh, survive better than I have been able to. You know, the, the challenge that we all went through, you came out on top, and I didn't, I struggled. And so I want you to be my leader. Isn't that where we want to go with this? Or we, 
We want to settle to say that, listen, I feel he's failed. We are all failed. It doesn't matter. We are all inside together. But he is the one who wants to be the leader. So let him go ahead and lead. No, when 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 he feels, or let's say he has to give, when he falls into the Akata, somebody who has gone through that would also help him, give him the guidance to come out and be a better person. Mm. Okay? Mm. We want our leaders to lead a good example. Okay. But for me, I believe that they are all human beings. Yeah. Our human factor at a point cannot be hidden. Yeah. No matter your position, your human factor at the point will come out. Okay. Yeah. And when it comes out and then you flow up, you pick the pieces, you take advice, and you go on. Okay. Because now the issue is that most of us have taken the uh, pastors and then the ministers or let's say ask for them, they are angels. Mm. And they don't have any flaws. Mm. Okay. But they will all have flaws. Mm -hmm. All right. We all have flawed. Yeah. yeah, there's so many ways so that, like us. Yeah, so that, that is what I'm We country. really appreciate your time. Where, where thank are you speaking you to us from? Able Kuma. Able Kuma. All right, thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you very much. All right, so hmm. uh, that would be our last caller for this particular segment. Hmm. Uh, so we had a caller from Ashaiman. Today we're at yeah. Accra Base. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ashaiman, <laughs> um, Able Kuma, and Taifa. Yeah, but that's a very interesting thoughts there. Very. And more open-minded than i don't know what my expectations were from the callers but yeah. i think are, are, are we becoming a bit more tolerant of certain things or a bit more accepting because there was a time where as he was saying you know you see people of especially men of god yeah. or women of god as these angel, flawless yeah. angels who yeah. you know are supposed to be the bastions of morality yeah. and but they fall they fall i mean we know yeah. mega pastors and mm, mega where have, they've, they've had split up yeah. their, their marriages haven't worked and they've so it's not uncommon, it's not mm. unseen, mm. but it's like people seem a bit more accepting that, listen, yeah. it happens. Yeah. It's personal, it's Shall private, we? they can still lead. Do you, you know? remember Jimmy Swaggart? When Jimmy Swaggart's issue came up in the States, mm. it ended his heights of ministry. But you know who went through, and somehow she's Paula White. Yeah. And that whole ministry was yeah. based on, ma I mean, they had a whole um, marriage, the marriage like was the whole marriage, 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 marriage. Out there. Next thing it you know, oh, we're splitting up. Yeah. Give us our privacy. Yeah. People were like, what? what? You've built yeah. a whole mega based ministry on, based, based on, on marriage. This. How are yeah. you now telling us that we yeah. shouldn't ask about yeah. your problem? But somehow. But she, somehow she's she been able to navigate. To, yeah. yeah. Navigate it pretty well. And she's human. Yeah. Th they've proved that they're humans. Yeah. But then my only question is, okay, so how do you cancel me now? Yes. Do you still tell me, oh, yeah. God hates divorce? Do you still tell yeah. me, oh, you have to work through it for yeah. better, for worse with your yeah. spouse? Yeah. You didn't work through <laughs> it. You left. Or, you know, you <laughs> didn't, you know. So yeah. that's what changes things. Yeah. Now, Charlie, you can't come and yeah. tell me that I for days, you yeah. know. <laughs> anyway, this is interesting. <laughs>